Hello Leo and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. Um, I've got Jasmine with me, a mouse. Mouse is feeling much better by the way. So thank you so much for all of you that checked in with me to see if Mouse was feeling better. He's like tip top. He's ready to go. And he's into everything. So that's fun. And his um, food has permanently been moved over here so if you see that empty or it looks empty from your vantage point his bowl is over here yeah I'm rearranging my office again I know I just moved in I just moved to this space like in February and it's July I'm moving again but it's okay it's okay it's all in the name of construction and things that are getting better right Okay, so Leo, um, this is a reading for the new moon in Cancer. Oh, yeah, on July 17th. The new moon in Cancer is a big deal, but it's also a big deal because we have Venus going retrograde. So, Venus goes retrograde on the 22nd. To hear all of the astrology that is going on, especially here at the end of July, make sure you check out um, the July astrology video that I did and posted uh, right at the beginning of July so that you can see like what's going on um, you know for more details and stuff all right Leo this is a general reading so if it resonates with you that's great and if it doesn't that's okay too make sure you check out your Sun Moon and rising sign because this is not a horoscope this is a card reading so it could make you could resonate more with your your moon or your rising sign if Leo is your Sun sign yeah all right Leo let's see what we've got for the end of July for you I know new moon in cancer we're all feeling a little protective right it's a very nurturing moon I'll say that but feeling a little protective and there's always people like you know that want to protect themselves from being copied from being you know having their ideas taken or whatever it's going to happen let me tell you it's going to happen even like with this this wonderful like feeling protective moon that we have here um it's people are going to copy you but the great thing is is that they're not creators they can't they can't copy you forever keep that in mind all right so the first card we have up is the empress which is beauty and abundance i love that rabbit uh the next card we have is the hanged man patience and perspective then we have the ace of feathers which is mental clarity and foundation speaking of ideas uh the next one we have is the two of acorns which is insight and focus and the last but not least is the shaman card, divine wisdom and spiritual power. And in the traditional tarot, the, sh the shaman card is the hierophant. Just giving you, giving you that little piece of perspective here. Um, really what I see here, uh, Leo, is that you feel like you've been, like, you were going in, a, you felt like you were going in a really good direction. You felt like you were going, all right, this is, this is what I'm doing. This is what, you know, how I'm like achieving success in a relationship, in a family, in business, whatever. This is how I'm, I'm moving forward. And you were like, all right, I'm, I'm doing it the right way. I'm doing it the right way. Something along the lines, somewhere in your journey has triggered you to see that that's, not the way that's not exactly the that's not the way um, there's something that's changing your perspective and something that wants you to change I get even that there's um, there's mouse it's good um, I get even that there's new ideas and new like um, 
like awareness or clarity in your consciousness that's coming in to help you like establish this, to help you establish like a solid foundation for success, a solid foundation for a different a success in a different manner of speaking. It may still be that you're looking for success in relationships, family, um, business, whatever. It may still be that you're looking for that. However, what I see is that you're looking for, uh, that you're going to be doing it in a different direction with some changes in there. The two of acorns is absolutely like, it's another card of choice. It's another card of like decisions, but this is like your insight and focus is coming in because they're wanting you to look outside your comfort zone. They're wanting you to look outside of like where you've been looking. Again, we're seeing that change in perspective coming into play. You've got to look outside of your comfort zone. Now, the interesting thing about the shaman card is the divine, um, the divine wisdom and spiritual power. Sometimes, and some of you may not understand this, I, it's like in football when you just have to drop back and punt. You just have to drop back, make it look like you're, you're like willing to, you know, say, okay, I know I've lost here, right? No. That's when, that's when you like punt the ball and move down the field. That's exactly what I feel like is happening here, Leo. I feel like it's time for you to just say, and this is not easy for a Leo, but I'm telling you this because Venus is going retrograde in your sign. Venus only goes retrograde every 18 months. So Venus is the one planet that does not go retrograde like you know, with regularity, well, Venus and Mars. But the thing is, like, most planets go retrograde at least once a year. Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. So, the, what we're looking at here is that Venus is going retrograde in your sign. This is a time for you to, I don't want to say humble yourself, but I want to say, it. if you don't humble yourself, then... Do you want somebody else to do that? Or would you rather get a, like a jump start on it? Come on, mouse. What are you doing? Would you rather get a jump start on it and just be like, I can, I'll do this. You know, and say, okay, this is where I am. I need a, a new relationship. I need a new job. This is happening. I'm, I'm dealing with issues in my marriage and my family, uh, with my business, whatever. You have to step forward and just say, okay. Here's the reality. Here's the situation. Are there people that want to see you fall? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. I tell you what, there's been more people that have been like in that audience waiting to see me fail than they've been like cheering me on. Not a problem. I mean, it's hurtful. It's painful. Especially when you thought those people were your friends, right? You know what I'm talking about. So now is the time for you to say, okay, this is where I'm at. See who stands in your corner. See who stands beside you. See who is there. And you make a game plan because you're moving forward. You are. You just need to change your perspective. And I think when you drop back and punt, what you're going to see is a touchdown. I think what you're going to see is like, you know, you're just like, okay, this is, this is where I'm going. This is where I want to be and just go. I mean, and don't tell anybody about it, Leo. Don't tell anybody about it. That's another thing with this cancer new moon is that you have to keep this to yourself while you're making it happen. And then all of a sudden just pull the trigger and be like, all right, it's done. It's done. It's a done deal now. And that's, I mean, honestly, that's what I had to do with this channel. I didn't tell one single solitary soul. I just, I, I like practice for a few months, tried to get my stuff together to see if this is what I wanted to do. And then I pulled the trigger and I even, that's when I told my husband. And that's when I told everybody else. I was like, all right, I'm launching this. Let's see what happens.
it's a good time for you to keep your ideas and your thoughts and what you're doing to yourself and then pull the trigger when it's done and nobody can stop. Nobody can do anything about it. But there's something going on that's changing your perspective here. Whatever road you've been going on, it's not been wrong. The goal has not been wrong. I think the mode of transportation to get there has been wrong. And I think that's what Spirit's trying to change for you. Oh, hello. Two cards. Okay. I get it. So... This is, we're starting off here with the Page of Swords. We're going to the Devil. This is not a bad card. It's a warning, but not a bad card. Um, then we go to the Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot. And the Five of Swords. Okay. So, a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of information coming into you, Leo. There's a lot of information coming into you about this is what you need to do. This is how you need to uh, move forward. This is what you, like, need to do in your life. Now, I'm telling you that because the information is coming into you. Are you using it? Are you using it? Or are you sitting there going, that's too difficult. That's out of my comfort zone. I'm not feeling good about it. I'm scared. Blah, blah, blah. All those things that stop us. You know, the excuses that we have. The fear that we have. All of those things that hold us back, Leo, are present. They are present. They are present and accounted for. Are you going to cut yourself loose from them? Or are you going to listen to the information that Spirit is bringing to you? so that you can move on so that you can move from a place of no growth to a place of abundance really I think it's very very possible I think it's very very possible that you get everything you want that you get everything you want you have family you have uh, knowledge you have money you have resources all those things in the material that we hold dear and yes Family and those kind of relationships are things that we hold dear. Almost like a material thing. Not quite the same way as like the cup energy. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know that it is entirely possible for you to have this. Should you choose to move forward. If you choose to stay stagnant, that's exactly where you're going to end up. Stagnant. Digging yourself deeper in a rut. The chariot is saying that spirit is trying to clear the way for you. They're trying to help you move forward. You've got to keep it in balance. You've got to keep that, that spirit of Leo where you're just like, I can do this. I can do anything. Hear me roar. And that fear that's holding you back. So are you a lion or are you a kitten? What are you going to do, Leo? Keep it in balance. Keep it, keep that lion and that kitten energy that, the Leo has keep that in balance you don't have to be fearful but you don't have to run everybody down either you keep it in balance spirit is taking spirit is taking away some of the obstacles not the obstacles that are meant for you to uh, learn for you to understand like hey this is this is the way I'm supposed to go this is what I'm supposed to do it's not that but it is, it is like that learning, you know, that learning bit that they're, they're letting stay in your path. But they're removing obstacles like, you know, people not cheering you on when they should be. Maybe they're wanting to see you fa fail. Some, for some people, that could be an obstacle. And the Five of Swords energy, the Five of Swords energy is winning. Now, the thing is... It can also be like you feel like this is a hollow victory or you feel guilty over winning for some reason. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if this has to do with someone that's close to you. Those people that are close to you that are trying to see you fail and you win and you see their disappointment, that could that could be the same. It, it really could be. I... I 
I know that sounds crazy, but when I see that people are disappointed that I've been successful at something, it hurts my feelings even more. It doesn't bring me as much pleasure and that, that can be painful. But the thing is, Leo, spirit is clearing the way for you. What are you going to do? Are you going to change your perspective and look at it in that direction and build a new foundation? Are you going to bring in the divine wisdom that they're trying to give to you, that they're trying to send to you? Or are you going to stay stuck in that fear and like excuse, like rut that all of us can get stuck in? All of us can get stuck in that Leo. What are you going to do? What do you choose? Ah, I know. It's up to you, Leo. What do you want? I honestly, I think this could be a wonderful time for you. This could be just a, a, a fabulous time of abundance. This is, a, this is definitely a time of growth, Leo. But look at things in a different way. And especially with this new moon in Cancer, keep your plans to yourself until it's time to, until it's time to shed light on it for everybody. Eucalyptus. And you know, really, it. I think that's what stops us most of the time from like completing goals is other people saying, well, you should do it this way or you should do it that way. That's why like starting this channel for me, there was no other input in it. So if it screws up, it's all on me. But if it succeeds, it's all on me. There's no one to blame. It's me. And I kind of like it that way. Like, I like being able to take on all of the responsibility and all of the blame because I felt like somebody was going to blame me for the downfall anyway, so why not just do it all by myself and, and go in that direction? You know what I mean? It's great opportunities that are coming to you, Leo. Ooh, Cloak of Wisdom. Love it. Love it. Skunk. Skunk. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, Leo. First advice card from the animal deck is skunk. Respect. Gentle skunk teaches you to respect yourself, respect others, and demand respect. It asks you to assert yourself, but live in peace. It gets attention without arrogance. Are pushing its own interest. Skunk understands the cycles of sensuality, physical, sexual, spiritual, and psychically. Very interesting. Teaches respect. Okay, uh, the next advice card comes from Spirit. It is uh, Kuthumi. I think I'm saying that right, but I'm Southern. I mispronounce everything. It is the Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know, which is exactly what I'm talking about with this Cancer New Moon. All right, the last advice card comes from the Essential Oil deck. It is Eucalyptus. The emotional aspects of Eucalyptus. It releases humiliation, feeling defeated and powerless. It instills 
power, courage, and responsibility. Oh my gosh, Leo. It creates the ability to heal physically and emotionally and claim wholeness. It creates courage to, fa to face the truth behind what ails us. The centering thought. I have the ability to heal and release the emotions that hold me back from moving forward. Wow. And the affirmation, it, why is it so easy for my body to heal quickly and easily? And the chakras are the heart, the root, and the sacral. Well, well. This is an amazing time for you, Leo. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to embrace courage. If you're afraid, I understand. Feel the fear. Don't camp out in it. You know, I... I, I'm not telling you to do something that I don't do myself. Don't stay in that though. Don't stay in that fear and that circle of um, excuses. Don't dig that rut even deeper. That could take some time to dig yourself out of. It's up to you, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me today, Leo. I so appreciate your continued support on my channel. I have noticed that about 85% of my viewers do not come from subscribers. So if you feel led to, please hit that subscribe button. It, it means a lot to me and it's free for you. Yay. Thank you so much again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new moon in Cancer. And until we see each other again, Get out there and make your magic. Bye.